Hi, I'm Noah Wilson from iHollywood TV, and there's no other person I would rather want to spend my first interview of the 2018 year with than with super talented Jacob Young. What's up? Hey, thank you, thank you. It's good to be here. It's nice to be doing the first interview with you after the after the new year. After the new year, yes. After the holidays are over with and we're all stuffed from the food and seeing the family. <laughs> How was your holiday, Jacob? Uh, we we had an awesome holiday. Uh -huh. uh, you know, three kids. It really helps to uh, brighten the Christmas spirit, Christmas day. Yeah. Uh, we had a great New Year, which I ordained a, a wedding in uh, Sun River, Oregon. It's uh -huh. my first wedding, so that's how I spent my New Year, which was also a very blessed time. I, I really had a great time doing that. Good memories. It seemed like you made for the uh, for the for this holiday season. Definitely an unforgettable holiday season. Uh huh. Well, uh, first off, I want to congratulate you. You were one of the best daytime TV leading men of 2017. Like what? But like, how does that make you feel, Jacob? Uh, you know, it, it's always it's always nice to hear compliments uh, uh -huh. and and to be received by uh, the press and your peers. Uh, mm -hmm. Lord knows I've been doing it long enough, and uh, I'm I'm hoping that you know it's it seems to be impacting the audience and mm -hmm. and my peers. So I'm very I feel very thankful. Well, uh, Jacob, I, 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 I want to point out in case people don't know, which they should, I mean, you, uh, your start on the soap series, The Bold and the Beautiful, was back in 1997 on December the 31st from 1999. Uh, then you moved to General Hospital from February 2000 to February 2003. <sighs> and then, all oh, my children, what? From <laughs> October 2003 to September 2011, and then you're back on the bold and the beautiful for quite some time now. Um, what made you want to come back to the place you first started in daytime TV? Well, it, it, it's a combination of several things. Uh, you know, the bold and the beautiful has a really interesting appeal. Uh -huh. We're in 113 countries. We have 35 million viewers on a daily basis. Um, of course, it's not all up to date in every country. But um, you know, some countries can be up to six months behind, like Australia, or three months. Italy's like six months behind, etc. Uh -huh. But um, but I, I had always told my wife, I said, you know, after you know testing the market and seeing the different shows, which I absolutely love, General Hospital, and I absolutely loved all my children. Uh -huh. But there's a whole different experience you get from the Bold, the Beautiful. Um, it, first of all, it's a privately owned show, so it's not network. It's not owned by the network. Um, so we have a lot more leeway um, about travel and things that we're getting to do, uh, people that we're getting to interact with, our fans, um, and it just makes it just makes for a better time, and I, I really enjoy it. So um, thankful to be back. Well, we're all happy you're back. I think that was like one of the best days when Jacob Young returned to the beautiful. <laughs> we're like, yay! So. Uh, so uh, fill us in on what's new with your character, Rick Forrester, and what we can expect to see from uh, Rick in the 2018 year. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a couple different things I, I, I feel that is really close and on the horizon right now. Uh -huh. One is with, uh, of course, Ridge and Brooke, uh, which are, you know, my brother and my mother, but my brother from, uh, you know, right. not really the same father and a different uh -huh. mother. Very complicated stuff. but. Um, of course, he has a lot of animosity. He's always had a lot of animosity towards Ridge. Mm -hmm. He is looking to, with his brother Thorne, to be able to probably push Ridge out of uh, running the company so we can have our payday. Which, of course, if anybody knows the bold and the beautiful, it's all about who's running that office. Mm -hmm. So I, th I can, I can <laughs> imagine that that's something that's going to be happening early on this year. And then the other one would be uh, uh, look for some relationship uh, ups and downs with Maya and Rick in this next year. Hmm. Well, it's a great show, and I like that the bold and the beautiful, it always keeps you guessing what's going to happen next. I mean, you know, it's like you're on the edge of your, your seat, and you're wanting to know what's going to happen, and boom, it goes to, you know, you have to wait to the next day. I love it. I think that's a great way. It just keeps engaging the fans to come back for more. Yeah. So I really like it. 
All right, so let's talk about your new single that's going to be releasing. This is going to be a wonderful year for you, Jacob. It's going to be an incredible, outstanding year. <laughs> And uh, you have been singing for quite some time now. You have a couple of albums that you uh, have actually released in the past. And right. uh, you have a new single out right now. Uh, well, not right now. It was coming out th this month. Uh, Better Than a Love Song. So kind of explain to me what the song is about and why you think that your fans will fall in love with this new track. Well, you know, I mean, so so Better Than a Love Song is, uh, is an idea of... Uh, it's a relationship based song mm -hmm. and basically the song takes uh comparisons of all these different famous love songs and basically saying hey we're better than a love song yeah. and it's 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 a, i mean i i wrote this song with john milstead he's a really great writer he's had a lot of success with blake shelton uh steve freeman uh was producing writing with me as well on this track Mm -hmm. um, and we really, we took some time with this, this song to make sure that it was exactly what we wanted to say. I mean, it, it, the EP is to follow after this single, but this single, I mean, it's got legs. It is, mm -hmm. it is a really, really attractive song. And I think not only people in the country world, but in uh, top 40 pop world are going to get it. It's not, it's not so traditional, classic country, if you know what I mean. It's going right. to definitely... It's gonna fade into both markets. It's kind of got like a little, uh, uh, a little take of like a country pop twist on it. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, with some pop sensibility, uh -huh. you know. Uh, so, so it, it can have an opportunity to go both ways on that. Yeah, uh, and that, that it leads me to ask you, like, what kind of made you want to? Because I mean, you're a country singer. You know, you act on the bold and the beautiful. You know, you sing. Uh, you go to, you know, you have, you have, pl you know, places where you go and you perform at. Uh, and meet your fans. So, uh, w w what kind of got you started in wanting to pursue a career also in music? You know, because you've been acting for quite some time now. You've also done music for a while as well. So, what kind of got you uh, interested? In, in well, I've always music? I've always been interested in music. Um, mm -hmm. In 2001, I was signed under a record label, and we did a lot of work and a lot of due diligence to that album. Mm -hmm. um, and I toured, you know, every radio tour across the country. But the album came out, the single, which was called Life Is Good, came out on 2001 on 9-11, mm -hmm. which was horrific for any box office film, any movie or any music. Mm -hmm. And after doing two years of work on this, for all of that to just kind of get eclipsed by, of course, a national crisis, mm -hmm. um, you know, it made me just take a step back. Uh, I never stopped writing. I never stopped playing. But professionally, I, I ha had not been. Uh, and then I was writing some music and you know, as I normally do and my wife eventually said, you know, Jacob, you know, what are you doing? You know, this is where your heart is and you should definitely be following that passion. And, and so she is the one that really kind of got my interest back at trying to do this on a, you know, on a public level. Mm. Um, and so I have to say a good portion of this EP are songs that are based about my relationship with my wife uh, and my family. It's uh, these, these are the things that I draw from. These are the things that are in my life every day. So I'm really, really proud of this EP and I'm really, uh, I really hope everybody else enjoys it as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. And, you know, speaking of EP, this single is, you know, go going to release this month. So, Speaking of EP, when when can you kind of say maybe when the EP well, will so, so so pre-sales are going to happen for Better Than a Love Song starting January 11th. Okay. Um, and then uh, the actual release date is January 30th. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to follow up maybe with another single, depending on how everything goes with this first one, and if we can, you know, get it out there and, and get people's interest. Mm -hmm. um, if not, I'll release the EP a little bit early, but I'm expecting to release everything else uh, early, uh, late spring, early summer. All right. Well, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of exciting things coming with Jacob. And um, I, I, I do want to plug out, sp speaking of uh, venues and events, uh, you're going to be at a couple of places uh, performing uh, this year. Uh, and, and some are coming up very soon. So can you uh, th throw those out there to the people watching so then if they're interested, they can get tickets and come see you live. 
Yeah, so so this is going to be a singer songwriter intimate session mm -hmm. uh, with my good friend Scott Reeves, and if you know anything about Scott, he's been on Young and the Restless, General Hospital, mm -hmm. had a lot of success with his uh, his group Blue County, another country band, um, and uh, Scott he mentioned to me he said, hey man, you want to do a, a little tour on the East Coast, and a little intimate singer songwriter thing with my daughter Emily Reeves. And I said, heck yeah. I mean, I wouldn't pass that up. So we're going to be in the on the East Coast, April 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. Uh, there is uh, there's shows in New Jersey, one at, at a place called Uncle Vinny's that's uh -huh. down on the shore. There's another one that we're doing a private dinner in Astoria. Uh, there's uh -huh. another one uh, that's upstate New York. And there's two shows, one of which is a private show, unfortunately, at the Friars Club in New York. And then uh, I'm hoping of one of two places, uh, they both kind of give me the green light, but we're just waiting to see what's going to be the best time we can uh -huh. squeeze in. So it's either going to be at 54 Below in Midtown Manhattan or City Opry, which is owned by the Grand Old Opry organization, which is a really cool venue. Uh, they're bringing country music back to Manhattan, and we like that. That's wonderful. Fantastic. Well, stay tuned for that, and uh, uh, pl 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 plug out your socials as well, Jacob, so they can stay connected, so that they won't miss a beat of anything happening with you. <laughs> well, it's it's the same on Twitter, and it's the same on Instagram. Uh -huh. uh, it might be a little hard to remember, so pay close attention. It's Jacob d underscore W underscore Young. We'll Jacob have it. underscore so, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, there it is. There, there it is, magically. <laughs> wow, special effects. All right. All right, Jacob. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining me. This is exciting. Better Than the Love Songs will be releasing. Remember, you guys, stay tuned uh, this month in January. And remember, you can watch Jacob every weekday on The Bold and the Beautiful on CBS and check your local listings for that. Um, you know, just head to the CBS website and you can find it there. Or your TV guy. Ah, ah, check that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jacob. Thank you so much. This is a lot of fun. No, thank you, Noah. Appreciate uh, it. All right. Well, bye. <laughs> See you later.